Hello and welcome to another fun activity episode at Miss Kay's Book Corner. I am so excited to go through these activities with you. For the first activity that has to do with our book, one bean is to get the bean ready for planting. So you need a piece of paper towel, a spray bottle, or you could wet beforehand paper towel, a Ziploc or a plastic bag, and of course you need a bean or two. Depends on the amount you want to plant. Okay, so let's get started. Cause and effect. You spray the bottle or you squeeze the trigger here and water comes out. Look at that. Yeah. Place the bean, fold it over or you could put another paper towel on top. Fold it over and place it in your zip bag, Ziploc bag or plastic bag. It's just fine. This helps to, con to maintain moisture for the bean to sprout. So that's one activity. The next activity I would like to show you that goes along with the reading of our book One Bean is could do a vocabulary word after reading the book. You put the words in the bag, write the words on the paper. Any words you want to, this word, soil, but any words you would like to and place it inside. It depends on the activity you're going to do. So for instance, if you're going to name the parts of the plant, if you're going to name the parts of the plant, you have the students take turns, pick a word. <gasps> what word did you get? Leaf. And you have the student identify that part of the plant. Another student goes, wow, I wonder what words you would you get? Let's see. Let's see. <gasps> Wow, look at that. You have the word roots. Beautiful. And again, the student will identify the part of the plant that is roots. Okay, so that's another um, activity. Let's dry this out from the water because we're going to go on to our third activity for this book that we could do with this book. You can come up with your own, but these were ones that I thought of. And to go with the activity with the words, we are going to use these words. This activity is going to incorporate the words that the students just took from the bag. And the students could do this on their own. We're making our own tree. Yeah, our own tree. So we cut rectangle, place it, or you could rip. And this part, the students could rip to make the branches or stem rip. And that's fun for the students to rip paper. They don't always get the opportunity to rip paper because that could get them in big trouble to rip the wrong paper. So now they get the opportunity to rip paper. You could use a stick glue or you could use liquid glue. So for this, I'll just use a stick glue. So we're making our own tree. Hmm. You don't have to do it on a tray. I did it on a tray. Not to get things stuck on my... table. This could be a fall tree or it could be a spring tree. And now you could make you can make some leaves if you would like. If not, let's do the roots. And I went ahead and I did my roots. 
It depends on what your focus is. If you want them to label leaves, then of course they would have to have leaves on their tree. And these are my roots and I'll show you how I did this. I did mine with paper towel. Again, the students can rip the paper towel. Again, rip. Ripping paper is fun for the students, but it also helps with their fine motor skills. You could make a um, liquid with one part glue, one part water to do this. So if you have one cup glue, you make one, you put, add one cup of water. This way, I just put the glue directly onto this and then I rub it like that to make my root. Just like that. Some students might not like their hands to get messy. It's not a, it can be very a funny feeling on your hands. And then you stick it on like that. I'll make two more to get my roots going. All right, this is so much fun. I'm so excited for you guys that you get to do this with your students. All right, and the students will have lots of fun building their tree. And the last root that I'm making. It doesn't matter how the students place the roots because roots doesn't always go the same direction. And there you go. This is my tree. The students could create their own tree by ripping paper and using glue to make with paper towel to make their roots. You could bend them up. Doesn't have to be straight. Roots doesn't always go straight. And when it dries, it will keep the shape that you put it in. Yeah. And then the students could label their tree. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's a great activity for the young ones to do. Okay, so that's another activity. So that's our third activity. Wonderful, just based on this one book. The next activity is, oh, these are so gorgeous. Wait until you see what I'm about to show you. I'm so excited. Wow, look at this. That is absolutely gorgeous. What is that, you ask? Oh, let me tell you what it is. This is the same thing, and this is how your bean will look after a few days or a week or two. Just keep watching it. Make sure it's in a sunny spot. And this is what it's going to look like, just like it says in the book. And look at this. Isn't nature wonderful? Look at this. It's about to break. You see that? Not about to break. It broke. The seed broke. Guess what's inside? What's coming out? Oh my goodness. Yes, leaves. Leaves are coming out. It is so gorgeous. Oh. And guess what? I am I do not have only one. I have... Two, and I have three. Wow, look how beautiful they are. It's absolutely gorgeous. And remember, I said, I was telling you earlier that the root does not grow or it's not always straight or go in one direction. These are all over the place. Yeah. They are all over the place and th with this also 
you can have the students where are the roots okay so now for this activity we need paper cups you could put them directly into your container their permanent container this is a temporary container that means it's not going to stay there for a long time make sure you put a hole in the bottom of your paper cup so this way the soil will not collect excess water and it will drain away yeah. so I'm going to add my soil I'm going to add my soil I'm so excited my soil just like in the book put the soil like halfway up in the cup halfway like this like about halfway so you have enough space you have more space to put soil on top this is so so beautiful oh so lovely now that my leaves are about to expose themselves I am NOT going to cover this fully with soil I'm going to leave it out like this yeah. And guess what? This could be done as a science lesson as well. So you could read this book in science. In nutrition. Oh. And now, guess what all plants need besides the sun, somewhere to live? It needs water. So you could use a spray bottle or you could use a cup with water simple cup with water but I have a spray bottle so I'm going to spray 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 just a little bit. later on I will plant my other bean so that's our fourth activity yes our fourth activity just based on this one book so we put this to the side and I put this to the side okay I love you for joining me today I had so much fun let's review what we did today based on our book that we read we put a seed, a bean, into paper towel, a wet paper towel, and place it in the bag. In a few days or, or a week or so, keep watching it, depends on how sunny your window is, it will look something like this. This beautiful, gorgeous sight. I just love it. It is so gorgeous and then we planted it yeah we planted it in soil and in a temporary home and then when it starts to grow we put it in a per permanent home we shall put it in a permanent home we also did a word search We made our beautiful tree. So this is something students could do on their own by ripping paper and making their own tree. Yeah. This will or may come off until it's dry, but I'm moving it around too much. And so it is not quite settled in. But this is the tree that something like this, the students will make. And then when they're all done, you could have them do 
word search and labeling their tree so we could go for what we could do what did we plant the bean in so soil for bringing readers you could do that what did we plant in the soil? Being. So there were many ways you could play around with these words for students to understand, learn, and internalize the information. Let's see what word did Johnny get? Roots. Johnny, can you label the roots on your tree? Roots. And if you like, depends on what you want the outcome to be, you could stick it on this like that. And this is something that Johnny and all his friends will be very proud of. And this is something they are likely not to forget the parts of the plant. From a bean to a plant. Wonderful. That was so much fun sharing these activities with you. Thank you again for joining me at Miss Kay's Book Corner for another fun set of activities. See you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.